I'm Christy North. I'm 34 and I have complete androgen insensitivity syndrome. Um, when I was two, I was uh, found to have the condition. Um, it's a genetic condition, so there are uh, members of the family gone past that have had the condition. I was di diagnosed at two, um, where I had a full um, well, hysterectomy was what it was told to me as. I, was, I have XY chromosomes, so I had, instead of ovaries, they were um, undeveloped, undescended testes. So um, when I was born, I looked perfectly normal, uh, female, and when they investigated, they found that um, I was in fact uh, chromosomally male. I probably picked up things that was spoken to my parents, um, but I wasn't told until I was about 11, so at the end of end of primary school. Um, so when I found out that I couldn't, that I would never have my period and I and I would never have children, I kind of pretty much went straight to school the next day and and said to my to my good friends, "This is what I just found out," and they, some of them had started their periods and they're like oh, you are so lucky and oh my god that's amazing and and then it was never really discussed again until sort of later on um, friends new friends old friends would sort of say oh I've got uh, I'm, I've got my period or oh, I'm in a lot of pain or and this that and, other. and I'm I just I couldn't um, I couldn't I couldn't understand I couldn't comprehend what they were feeling it was just an unknown feeling. So I started hormone replacement at that point and it's just been going on ever since. So every day I have hormone replacement um, ongoing now for the rest of my life. And it's the only downside <laughs> to, the, to the condition I, as I see it, but I had the benefit of finding out from a young age. There are advantages to having the condition. Um, you don't have a lot of body hair um, and you don't have much of a body odor. You are generally generally pretty fit, you're quite tall um, and you, you don't get your period so you don't have to worry about that. At about 16, 18 or maybe even a little bit younger I started to investigate and ask a bit more questions and that's when I found out about the chromosomes and, and um, the undescended um, gonads and, and, and from then on I've sort of gradually started to build up information and I've started to meet other people and I recently joined the support group, the AIS support group of Australia. Um, I became a committee member and a a support contact for Victoria. Um, so in that role, new members can contact me um, and ask just ask questions. I've had contact with a few families, um, and I do hope that as as their children get older, that they will become more comfortable with what they've with their condition. Um, I was I've I've been lucky in that I've grown up with knowing my condition but there are a lot of a lot of girls that don't find out until much later in life when they don't aren't getting their periods and they start to wonder why they're not and then they find out then they've had the the dreaming of oh, I'm going to get married I'm going to have children and to find out it's at a later age that that's not going to happen is, is quite crushing so it's possibly good that they have people around them that can help them through. I guess what I, I really want uh, is for people to to be more understanding of of other people's conditions and also of their own. I'm all about education and opening people's minds to what is around them. Um, if I didn't tell anybody, nobody would know that I have this condition.